The FIFA 20 market is very important, of course, for us to make sure that we are gaining coins, how we're going to be trading and investing around it. And also, of course, so that we're not going to lose any coins if unexpectedly the market is going to drop. And of course, we do have lots of our players decreasing in price. So I'm going to be going over now what's going to be going on in the future of the market. So in the next few weeks, maybe potentially in the next few months and see, of course, a bit into the future and how we can prepare for it. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe. I'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one also talking more about the trading and investing how to make coins and more videos like this about the market explaining each individual aspect that of course you might need help with and of course going over it a lot so that you do fully understand it so of course going straight into the video now I did make a video yesterday if you haven't seen it yet definitely go and check it out how the market is moving every single week but now of course this is going to be something that uh, that kind of like affects the market of course externally it's not going to be something that we usually get every single week it is actually going to be a long term part of kind of like the fifa 20 market ecosystem that it does happen and eventually it is going to happen so this thing is is that people eventually of course right now we're gaining more and more coins on the market from foot champion squad battles and also division rival rewards every single week and also from sbcs that ea sports are releasing it's earning lots of people a lot of coins and right now of course players that we might have used in our teams of course right at the start maybe now maybe a few weeks ago for example Inaki Williams, Jamie Vardy, Gabriel Jesus they are no longer going to be needed in a few weeks because they of course are going to get upgraded people are going to get more coins from for champions for example and then they are going to want to upgrade their team so for example currently if someone has Vardy in their team their next upgrade they will be looking to is going to be Lucas Moura and once they get him they are going to be looking to someone like possibly even Lacazette and then eventually to a player like Aguero and then maybe if you keep going like Mbappe and then you get on the Cristiano Ronaldo level Mbappe kind of like Neymar Messi those sort of players but that is kind of like how I would kind of like simply explain it of how people are going to be uploading upgrading their teams with attackers and of course this is something that we do need to be aware of because once everyone no longer needs Vardy that of course means Vardy's price is going to absolutely collapse and especially with Vardy for example he is very low rated this year 82 rated so that card is going to also get packed a lot and if he's no longer needed that card of course is absolutely going to be worthless and we are going to actually see this happen with lots of different cards but of course those are the main ones for example that I think are great examples Inaki Williams, Vardy and Gabriel Jesus because they were okay they were good they were fast of course had decent good shooting but now of course they're no longer going to be needed and then eventually of course maybe a bit later on we are also going to see this happen with players like Zaha and those type of players who of course even now that we might be using and might be happy with eventually we are going to want to upgrade them to better things so for example these upgrades are going to be mainly middle price players for now so players like Longley from Barcelona Lucas Hernandez De Jong Lacazette Mertens those type of players right now of course that some of us might be getting if we are lucky enough but more of the casual players have not unlocked just yet and they are still mainly with players like Zaha Anderson for those Vardy like I did mention Vardy Jesus and Naki Williams but very soon they are going to want to upgrade them because sooner or later they are of course going to get something good they're going to pack something good or of course they're going to keep those coin totals from division rival rewards from fit champions they're going to keep adding up also from squad battles if some of us do play that so eventually when they are going to want to add up most people are going to of course invest into their team which of course you need to be smart with and knowing this information of course you can actually go out there right now for example if we do check right now my transfer list I do have some players that of course were in my old team I built a new team that I'm waiting to sell but I did of of course buy someone like De Gea for example because I know he is going to be he's kind of like a middle price players of course and right now of course we might have a team for around 100,000 coins we're not going to be of course putting 60,000 coins into a goalkeeper but come in a few weeks our team of course is going to go up quite a lot I'm, I am assuming of course for a lot of casuals once they play fit champions division rivals squad battles like I did mention next month their total team might be worth 500,000 coins and spending 60,000 coins for a goalkeeper of course is going to be a lot more acceptable meaning De Gea's price is going to go up a lot more of course and the current goalkeepers that we are you aren't using of course that we are using right now are of course no longer going to be needed just like I did explain and this is going to be another example with De Gea of course and there's loads of other players out there as well like I did already mention and you can go out there as well and kind of like search for your own players and I think if you do have some coins right now or for example De Gea I of course would put him in my team right now because he works of course good in my team but it's also an investment when I come 
back in a few weeks he should be of course a lot more expensive for example like this someone like the Gea, he's around 60,000 coins right now we can definitely see him going for around 100 120,000 coins when of course a lot more people are going to be needing him when more people do have coins I hope this video really helped you guys out I'm making mini market videos just like this one of course explaining each individual aspect about the FIFA 20 market so hopefully it should make you guys of course a lot better traders and investors and understand how the market is working so you can make lots of coins and also at the same time make sure that you don't lose any coins so definitely make sure that you do subscribe and also possibly turn notifications on if you do want to be first to these videos if you guys do need any other help dm me on twitter or instagram and also comment down below i'll definitely get back to you thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time